Hey friends, it's me, Pastor Doug, with another one minute word of encouragement for the day for today, Tuesday, June 22nd. And today's word comes out of the book of Titus, chapter two, verses 11 and 12. And in it, listen to what Paul writes to his young apprentice, uh, a young pastor named Titus. He says this in verse 11, for the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions, and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age. So we look at verse 12 and we go, okay, it. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions. Well, what is Paul referring to when he uses this word it? Is he talking about God's judgment or God's wrath or punishment? Like what is it that, that, that teaches us to say no to ungodliness? Well, he tells us back in verse 11. He says, for the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It, meaning the grace of God, is what teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions. The grace of God is what teaches us to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives. Friends, that's why I want to live a self-controlled life. Not because I'm afraid I'm gonna get in trouble, not because I'm even afraid of the consequences. It's because of the incredible grace that God has poured out into my life. Why wouldn't I want to live into this life that he invites us into? And so friends, may you walk this week in, 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 in that same kind of life that Paul describes, uh, where, where you're saying no to ungodliness and no to worldly passions, where you are living a self-controlled and upright and godly life in this present age. Why? Because of the grace of God. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.